today a beautiful vintage school pencil. Hello again. Let's talk again today about school pencils, of which I have a rather significant collection. And when I say school pencils now, uh, at this time in history, a student heading off to school may take something like this with them if they're following the instructions their teachers provide on back to school lists. Dixon Ticonderoga, very fine pencil, nothing wrong with that. Or they may bring something like this USA Gold. Again, very nice pencil, made in America. Nothing to be ashamed of. Perfectly serviceable pencil. Actually, a quite nice pencil. Or perhaps if the student's parents don't love them, they might send them with some plastic-wrapped monstrosity like this which will be an exercise in frustration the first time the child tries to sharpen it. But decades ago, a school pencil looked like something else entirely. Not, uh, not too many weeks ago, probably when I released this, I uh, covered this Eberhard Faber Mongol school pencil which is a very nice example of mid-20th century, early to mid-20th century pencil manufacturing. And today we're going to look at its cousin. Let's keep it here for uh, comparison. Another school pencil from Eberhard Faber or Faber. This one uh, <clears throat> indicates it is a third school pencil. So they had different um, designs of pencils for the different grades. Uh, in some other video, I'll cover some of the uh, larger pencils that were designed for younger students. And um, I have those in my collection as well. And I'm sure we'll get to those at some point. But I just want you to take just a moment. Let me make sure the camera's I'm going to pick this up. I just want you to take a moment to appreciate how nice that pencil looks. It's a really nice kind of a metallic cherry red with gold imprint. Eberhard Faber USA Third School 6303 number two pencil. It is a round, nicely painted pencil, no ferrule, no eraser, no cap. You can see, just looking at that, you can see the grain of the wood and know that it likely is cedar, almost certainly. We'll know when we sharpen it up. But this is a, a pencil in whose production a lot of care went, a lot of attention to detail. That is not seen much in the mass-produced pencils that we see today. So I am going to sharpen one of these up, and we are going to uh, give it a try. First of all, let's just see if there's any info on the package. This appears to be the same package that the Mongol came in, something that Eberhard Faber used for their school pencils. So all, all of them would have had this same wrap. 1849, I believe, is the establishment of the Eberhard Faber factory in New York, I believe is where it was originally. So I'm going to sharpen this, and I'm going to use... Uh, a handheld sharpener, I think, this time. We'll use this Coom Magnesium Long Point and see how that does. I think
think I got this from CW Pencil Enterprise when that still existed. Oh, this just barely fits in there. This must be slightly larger in diameter than the standard pencil. I didn't bother to measure it, and maybe I should have. It's a very nice sharpener. I don't know where you can get these now. If you can order them directly from Coom, probably you can find it on Amazon as, as everything. I haven't really looked. Or eBay, presumably, but it's a Coom KUM Long Point Magnesium Sharpener. And that is definitely cedar, the way it's coming off there. You can tell it's old. It splinters just a little bit, but the wood is still doing its job. I fear I might need to replace the blade soon in this sharpener. Oh, it seems to be doing okay. I'm afraid I'm going to break the let off. Makes a pretty nice point. You can tell by the grain, by the coloration, and if you were here, by the smell, that is indeed good quality cedar in that pencil. So let's move this out of the way. <clears throat> just kind of look at this this mongol is a really nice looking pencil and the attention to detail is evident but my goodness look at this does that remind you of christmas i mean the the red and the gold and the uh script here um in the name of the pencil third school the Eberhard Faber, I think all the Faber facilities used the same symbol, the diamond with a star in it. It says wood clenched here, made in USA. This was obviously after one of the Faber sons came to the United States to open a factory. Um, as I said, I, I believe in New York, but... Just an absolutely gorgeous pencil. You could be proud sending your kid to school with a pencil like that. Or you could go another route. Let's get some paper and we will give this a try and see how it does. I say this third school pencil may be a little firmer even than the Mongol just on first impression You can probably hear the scratch a little bit. If I were clever, like cabin over it, always analog, I would do a smudge test. Very little smudging going on here because it's light and firm 
and uh, would keep kids from constantly being at the sharpener to put a fresh point on it because you're not going to wear that point down very quickly. Ideal for a school situation. <laughs> Maybe by third school, that's when kids uh, started treating the pencil sharpener as an escape from the drudgery of the desk. <clears throat> and if I was clever like Kevin at Always Analog, I would probably give an eraser test too. So I have this pink pearl nearby. I would expect this erases very well. And of course it does. A firm graphite like that, usually you're not going to have too much trouble erasing. It writes like a standard number two pencil. Uh, maybe a little firmer and lighter than I like in a writing pencil. But in a school situation, again, you want the point retention. You want it to stand up under abuse, heavy-handed children, and you don't want them constantly at the sharpener. Um, this would be a very nice pencil for that. And my golly, look how gorgeous that is. That is just a good-looking pencil. It's going to roll away, so I'll have to keep my hand here on it. There we go, the Eberhard Faber USA 3rd School 6303 number 2 pencil in a beautiful shiny red with gold foil. It doesn't get much more beautiful than that. Thanks for watching this today. Hope to see you here again next time.